go. Our 25th qualification match of the day is underway, which puts us halfway through at the conclusion of this match. Today's qualification matches alone. Hope you've got your uh, seat cushions ready. It's going to be a long rest of the afternoon. We're looking at potentially both sides of the field balance. Yep, there we go. Document engage on both sides of the field on both of those charging platforms. That'll be Skunk Works and Viking pulling that one off for their respective blue and red alliances. Now with drivers at the helm of all six of these machines, all of them moving, although the Blue Alliance perhaps with a slight power play in terms of robots moving towards a strategic goal as Skunk Works pick up a cone very quickly from the loading zone and a cube will follow quickly thereafter from Ramen. Ramen now, rookie team again, moving across the field here for that Blue Alliance. They've got a cube en route to what appears to be the middle row there of our right node for the Blue Alliance. That'll be three points of Alliance score. A little over a minute and a half left to play. 11 points separate your two alliances. Slight favor towards blue. Up and over the charge station once more. Chain links once ranked as high as number one here at this event. Now down to 14, but still fighting and clawing their way through. Looks like no game pieces loaded up in that robot currently, or I just can't see it. You know what? Maybe I just can't see it, as they seem to have clearly placed a cube somewhere behind the referee that's blocking my field of view. Skunk Works drops off the cone to complete a link over on the Blue Alliance side of the field. That'll be a cone, cube, cone, link in our cooperation node there in the center of the Blue Alliance wall. Helps bring their Alliance score up to 65 to the Red Alliance's 35 with just under a minute left to play. Skunk Works now, Blue Alliance back at the wall, picks up yet another cone while the Red Alliance kind of collects their own fumble here. Mabton Lugnuts chasing a cube around on that charge station for the Red Alliance. They're finally able to at least get it off the charge station. Now we'll see if they decide to convert that into some score for their alliance. They are chasing it towards the alliance wall with that intent in mind. There's Chain Link's blue alliance. Cube goes up, potential five points if they can get it onto the platform they seem to be aiming at. And it's good, five points of blue alliance score, bringing that alliance up to 94 into our final 13 seconds of the match. Robots all now making their way towards those charge station. There's Viking Robotics for red at least docked, not yet engaged on the platform. They want Mapton to join them. It could be a double, but they're swinging violently and Mapton falls off back to the field of play. They'll just be parked in the community zone and Viking drifts their way back towards the center of the field. We'll have the double balance over here on blue between Skunk Works and Chain Links for a 20 point end game, rounding out our Blue Alliance score.
Match 25 results have been certified, and it is at the end of Blue Alliance victory. Your final score in this one, 116 blue to 57 red. All four of those coveted rank points for each of those Blue Alliance teams towards their overall average. Very successful showing there.